Good morning, Miss Wednesday. Good morning, Miss Polly. And good morning to all of the friends joining us again for another Bible story today. Yes. Miss Nancy, today's story is a little difficult for young children to understand because it involves death. Oh, Miss Polly. Death, death is hard for everyone to understand. Do you have a way to help us to understand death better? Well, this is kind of a simple explanation because we're talking with young children. Okay. But think about when people are alive, they do things. They talk, they walk, they eat. They do lots of different things. We enjoy being able to talk to them and hug them and play with them. But when people die, they stop doing all those things. They can't talk to us. They can't hug us. And they can't play with us anymore. That's very sad, Miss Polly. Can you tell us about today's story? Yes, Miss Nancy. The story is called Jesus Heals a Little Girl, based on Mark 5, 21 to 24, and 35 to 43. And it's found in the, the New Testament. Because it's a story about, about Jesus. Right. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, one day, a large crowd of people gathered around Jesus and his <clears throat> disciples as Jesus was telling a story. An important man named Jairus came to see where Jesus was talking. He bent down at Jesus' feet, and Jerry said to Jesus, My little daughter is very, very sick, and she might die. Please come and make her better so that she will live. Jesus went to Jerry's house with three of his disciples. There were so many people who wanted to see Jesus, it was very difficult to move through the crowd. As they approached Jerry's house, servants ran out with sad news. Your daughter has died, they said. Jarius began to weep. They were too late to save his little girl. Don't be afraid, Jarius, Jesus said. I am with you. Believe. When they entered Jarius' house, everyone was sad because the little girl had died. Jesus said, don't be sad. She is not dead. She is just sleeping. The people in the house did not believe that she was sleeping. Jesus went into the little girl's room with his disciples and her parents. He took the girl by hand and said, little girl, get up. Immediately, the girl got up and began to walk around. Her family was amazed. They danced up and down for joy. Let's get something to eat, said Jesus. Your daughter is better and she needs food. So they all shared a meal and gave thanks to God. Jesus made the dead girl alive again. Jesus could make her alive because Jesus is God's son. Oh, Miss Polly, that was an interesting story. Yes. It is a little difficult to understand because I know in, in the real life that when someone dies that that they don't really come back to life mm-hmm. and, and talk or, or play or eat or anything like that. But I do know that because of Jesus' resurrection on Easter, right. that that person will go to heaven and eventually We'll all be together again in heaven. That's right, Miss Nancy. We are so thankful for Jesus and what he has done for all of us. Yes. Uh-huh. Let's close with a prayer, Miss Nancy. Okay. Let's do the prayer clap. Okay. One, two, three, clap. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for me. Thank you for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for heaven. Thank you for heaven. I love you. I love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You know what, Miss Nancy? I suppose you're going to tell me it's time to go again. Time to say goodbye to our friends, but but we'll see you next next week. And don't forget to go to the website, secondchurch.org slash children. Download the color sheet that you saw at the start of the video and color it this afternoon. Bye. See you next week. Have a good week.